Hey guys, it's Aaron. So I wanted to take a look at a workflow that is both SketchUp and Layout, and this is involving using scenes. The idea is you can actually create templates in both SketchUp and Layout and have them automatically populate each other. Well, SketchUp populates Layout. Uh, it takes creating a template in both SketchUp and Layout, so it takes a couple of clicks, so we're gonna dive right in and do it right now. All right, so I'm here in a brand new SketchUp file. Nothing, nothing exists in here. Um, I'm gonna create a thing just so, you know, we have something to look at. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a little, I don't know, a playhouse, I guess. So really, I just want something that we look at and go, okay, yeah, there's a thing, and then we can tell the difference between the front, back, and side. All right, so there we go. I don't need Laura here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to create a template that shows four scenes. One's an isometric view like this, and I want a front view like this, a right side view, and a top view. So I'm going to, in this model right now, I'm going to go to camera, standard views, and I'm going to go to an ISO view. So this ISO just takes you to the nearest 45 degree view from where your camera currently is. So this is the view I want to, I want to keep. So I'm going to go to scenes, I'm going to hit plus, and I'm going to call this scene ISO. Boom, just like that. All right, next, I'm going to go to a front view. So I'm going to go again to my camera standard views and hit front. And I'm going to change it a little bit. I, I want this to look more like a plan. So I'm going to go back up to camera and say parallel projection. Now I'm looking straight on at it. All right, with that view set, I'm going to hit plus again and call this front. Whoops, front with an O. All right. And now we're gonna look at it from the right side. So again, camera standard view right. There's the right side, it's gonna save that. I'm gonna call it right. And one more from the top. So again, camera standard view top. And I'm gonna save that as top. Okay, so now what that means is we're gonna be able to flip through these different views just by clicking on scenes. That's awesome. Simple, you guys get that. Now, I don't really wanna save this model. I don't care about this model. I do, however, want to save everything else that's in here as a template. I wanna get rid of this first though. I don't need this stuff. So I'm gonna delete that and I'm going to go to file and rather than save or save as, I'm gonna drop down to save as template. All right, and I'm gonna call this my um, awesome template. Okay, you guys remember that. That's the name of this is because this template's awesome. And I'm gonna go ahead and I don't need it as a default template. I'm gonna turn that off and just hit save. All right, now whenever I create a, a model, I have the option of saying, I want, to, oh, I want to create it with that new template. So if I go file, new from template, I can go to my templates and I can pick awesome template. And it's gonna look like this, it's gonna have those scenes already in there. So let's go ahead and make a thing. Um, so my thing's gonna be, I want, I want this to be different so I know that this isn't the same model I saw, I have before, I wanna do that same house shape. So I'll do this, pull this out like this, and then uh, maybe I'll throw a circle on here and do that, and then maybe another circle right here and push that in. Okay, so there's my new thing. So as I look at it here, I can actually flip through my different views. Here's the front, here's the right, here's the top. And all of that, automatically those scenes are automatically there because they're part of the template. Now what I have to do is I have to say file, save as, or actually at this point I haven't saved so I can just save. And um, I'm just gonna save this as my, I'm gonna call this example one because we're gonna run a couple models through this. So save that. All right, now let's hop into layout. So in layout, I'm gonna say create a brand new drawing. I'm gonna use a, just my standard letter. All right, so when you come in here, obviously there's nothing here, so I'm gonna say file. I'm going to insert that file I just created, my example one, open that up, and then I will snap that. I'm just gonna make, this is gonna be a fairly unexciting, I'll be honest with you, template. I'm not gonna put a bunch of text or stuff, and that could all be included also, but the biggest part is I wanna show how to hook these scenes up so that it automatically populates the template. So what I'm gonna do now, so here's, here's my, my page number one. Uh, if I select the SketchUp model, I can come over here and say I want it to be the ISO view, that's the one I want on the front, yes. 
I'm going to come to my pages and I'm going to duplicate this same page a couple times. So I'm going to have four pages total. I'm going to go to page two and select. Right now it's in ISO. I'm going to go to front. I'm going to go to page three, change it from ISO to right, and page four and change it from ISO to top. All right, so there we go. Looks good. So now what I can do is again, in this time in layout rather than SketchUp, I'm going to go to File and Save as Template. And this I'm going to call my Awesome Layout Template. It helps you type better if you say the words out loud as you type them. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. All right, so now what I can do is I can go, we'll, we'll start brand new. We'll go ahead and close this. Close this, close this, close everything, and I'm going to go into SketchUp. I'm going to say File, New from Template, and I'm going to go to My Templates and choose my awesome template. Now I need something totally different that's not going to be confused with anything else. So uh, let's go ahead and throw a sphere in here. Now a sphere, a sphere looks the same from every side, so maybe that's not a good one. Let's make a cylinder like this, and then uh, I'll put on the ground next to it, I'll just put a little rectangle and pull that up. All right, so there, that's something that's gonna look different, right? So if my ISO view looks like two pieces next to each other from the front, I'm gonna see basically two rectangles side by side. Right side, the two rectangles are gonna kind of cross over each other from the top. It's gonna be, oh, look, not a rectangle, but a circle and a rectangle. Okay, perfect. So this is my new example. It's a brand new model. You see it automatically falls in there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and say File, Save As, and I'm gonna call this my new example. I'm going to save. And now I'm going to go to File and Send to Layout. Look what Layout does. Layout says, what template do you want to use? So if I go over to My Templates and choose my awesome Layout template, guess what's going to happen? Look at that, with no more work whatsoever, I had to do nothing else. I already have four pages with those standard views already in place of my new model. So the trick is, as long as those scenes have the same names, so as long as this is still ISO, I'm done. By having those both saved as templates, I just start modeling. And as long as I stay in the same model space, one thing that can happen, obviously, if I have a different shape or a size model that wanders away from the origin, uh, I may have an issue where I have to come in here and pan or something like that, but it's at least going to get you in the ballpark with little to no work whatsoever. So I hope you like that. Um, it is something where if you work in layout, you've probably at one point or another kind of stumbled across uh, the issue of having to go recreate those viewports over and over and over again. It happens. If you're doing any kind of repetition where you're doing the thing more than once, creating these templates is going to be a huge time saver for you. So hopefully you like that. If so, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week around here and you'll be notified of each and every one of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave a comment down below. Most if not all of our content nowadays is based off of comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.